MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. from 3D Systems really packs a punch. Um, there's a few key areas that uh, deliver this. Uh, firstly is the software which you've seen in the presentation, 3D Sprint. Uh, secondly, uh, we have the support removal process which is the real groundbreaker here and uh, maintenance and support of the machine. To touch on the software in a, in a bit more detail, um, we have a fixing feature in, in the software. Typically uh, with 3D softwares, for 3D printers, you wouldn't get a fixing option to fix the files. Uh, you'd normally pay several thousand pounds for that feature in, in a software package. Also, we can stack and nest parts in there as well. We can split parts, so if you've got a part that's too big for the build tray, we can easily, within seconds, split that part in half to make sure it fits on your build. I specifically remember we're splitting in half the dovetail in your presentation. Yeah, so uh, good old traditional dovetails, we, we can choose that, or we can use a, a dowel joint uh, there's a, a numerous joints that we can use to align the parts, make sure the parts remain accurate to that sort of 0.1 mil accuracy. Okay, and then moving on, you mentioned about the cleaning of the product. Yeah, so the, the cleaning, uh, anybody with a 3D uh, printer today will know that uh, cleaning of the parts is an area that people don't like to really touch on. Uh, it's something here we don't shy away from and, and it's really why at this open day we wanted to do a live demonstration and, and just show how easy it is. The, the fact that we can take a part um, off the printer uh, put it into a steamer, the steam melts the wax support away. Uh, with this part, it was quite a large part and only took 20 minutes. And it didn't matter if we had one component or 100 components in there, it would have been in the same period, length of time. So engineers are always talking about cycle times and things like that. Yeah. Traditionally, that one part would take maybe an hour? Yeah, traditionally an hour, with all technologies even longer. I mean, today we, we've uh, cleaned a, a pump connector, which is a very intricate part with internal channels and bores. Um, you may be looking longer than an hour, but with the steam, it gets in there, you, it, it heats up the wax, melts it out, it flows away. And as you saw today, whilst we're eating our lunch, that part was cleaning. 20 minutes later, it was ready to go. You also mentioned the support. Yeah, so really in terms of uh, maintenance on the machine, um, this machine's intelligent to another level from uh, existing uh, machines within the family. Um, the printer head actually knows how old it is and will actually adjust itself to its age. The fact that the UV light is self-calibrating, self traditionally that might need an engineer visit to calibrate that UV light, which is a cost and an inconvenience to the customer. All that has now gone away with this machine. Sarah, fantastic piece of equipment. Can you tell me a little bit more about it, please? One of the benefits of this machine, it's got a self-calibrating head, so it does it all periodically, so that cuts down on needing an engineer to visit just to calibrate the heads. OK, and that's the same with the UV light as well? That's right, yeah. And what other features are there in the machine that differentiate it? It's got a controlled droplet when it drops the material down, so there's less wastage, there's less material having to be taken away, so it makes for a cheaper part. Okay, so rollering it, is that, is that right? It is, yes. It rollers the um, material when it's dropped it before it cures it. And also the build plate is removable? The build plate is removable, so the benefit of that is you can take the tray off, take the parts away and clean the parts off and put another plate in. It comes with the machine and set the machine off straight away so there's no scraping of parts in the machine or cleaning the machine up before setting off another print. So Matthew, what did you think of the new printer? It's a fantastic piece of technology. The accuracy of it at point one is fantastic. It is a lot better than current technologies out there by other customers. Extremely interesting actually. We're interested in looking at um, short run tooling. So the ability to actually free up CNC machine time by 3D printing a form block uh, is, is something that's new to us, but very interesting. So the machine looks as though it 
ticks quite a lot of boxes. It's a great product. Um, the products did exactly what we would be looking for within our industry. You know, uh, offering customers, you know, prototype models for you know their production, and obviously to go on then for us to actually put it into our full production range. Well, it's very impressive, and certainly the speeds they achieve are very good. But I think their real innovation is the software. The way the, you get the software with the machine to do the uh, pre-print uh, corrections and things, I think that's a real uh, difference that they've got to offer, and I think that's something I've not, I've certainly not seen before, and it certainly makes the manufacturing route a lot quicker and a lot more uh, certain, so a lot more sustainable. Steve, the first of three open days. How's it gone? Really good. I mean, we've we've had people travel from up and down the country to be with us today in rugby. Um, and I think it's a, a, a credit to the fact that we've got a product out on the market that's a real interest to people. The product itself, the MJP 2500. Yeah, I mean, we've had two machines demonstrating today, um, but really and truly it was about showing the process. We've done right from the software, developing, editing the model, all the way through to the cleaning. People have walked away today with a part they've seen printed and they've seen clean. It's not just a 2500 though, is it? No, I mean, people have come here today because of the 2500, but we showed the scanning today. We've also demonstrated the metal 3D printing machine, uh, a brand new SLS machine, and of course our EDM technology from Mitsubishi. I've spoken to a few people, um, and I think that, you know, it's been really worthwhile for them to take three, four hours out of their day to, to come to rugby today. So that was the end of the open house day one, showcasing the MJP 2500. Feedback has been really, really good. If you haven't missed out though, there's still two more open days to go. August the 17th, September the 14th, so get yourself registered.